organization of Sakari, we come out here week in and week out to try and to attempt to wake up the black, Latinos, and Native Americans to their true heritage, which are the uh, 12 tribes of Israel. So, hey, excuse me, ma'am. So you said you was, you, you said you, you said you was watching, uh, watching the TV online right now? What, so, what, 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 what'd you think about it? I love it. Love it? I know I'm part of the 12 tribes. No eating mic, you already know what's going on, man. Okay. I'll praise you. All the way, man. You already know me. You know what tribe you're from? Well, uh, what, what tribe are you from? Oh, you say you know you're part of the 12 tribes, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm? I'm Latino. Okay, yeah, you know, that's what it encompasses a lot of tribes. So you know, you know which no, one just, in particular. I just started listening to this. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's crazy. I ran into y'all. So what? Uh, what's your nationality? Guatemala. Guatemala. All right, so you be from the uh, tribe of Zebulon, right here, you know, Central America. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, so how long, how long have you been, how, how long have you been knowing about uh, knowing about the truth? A couple of years now. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, and, and what, what made you just start? Uh, did you do you listen to us particularly, or do you, yeah, no, do you watch yeah, watch yeah, any other camps? Yeah. Or is it just us exclusively? Just, uh, just, uh, just, just a car exclusion? Yeah, okay, okay. You're not supposed to do that, you know what I mean? Oh, so one of your cousins put you on? Yeah, you know you're not supposed to do that because I'm already supposed to know about it. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, man, yeah, man, I love y'all, bro. Okay, yeah. I I'll gotta pray. keep it moving. I gotta get my son. I love y'all, man. Alright, well, man, I'm about to be here next Saturday, bro, at 6. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you, if you can, if you Red got time today, man, yeah. you can go get your, get your son, man, bring him back. Bring him down here. Uh, uh, if you can. Hey, you can fly him. Huh? You can fly him? Uh, no, can I get one? Hey, can somebody get this brother a fly? Brother, brother right there, got it. Oh, praise. That man's very far. Very far. Hey. Hey, brother. It's a, hey, see, the Most High, the Most High drew you over here right now for a purpose, right? Yeah. And the thing about it is, you know, you know what time it is. You've been watching this for uh, for, for quite a while now, man. But the Most High doesn't want just hearers of the word; he wants doers of the word. You got that? Tell me three o'clock. He said six o'clock. One twenty-two. It's three o'clock, right? Yeah, tell me start at three. Yeah, we start at three, not six. Yeah, watch where you're stepping right there. Watch where you're stepping right there. Look. James 1 and 24. 1 22. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. So you got to be doers of the word and not just hearers only. Right? Because, yeah, you've been watching us. You know what time it is, right? But the most high is not gonna use you, that's not that's not enough, man. Right? You gotta start keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments, and do, and, and come bit and come bit of the single marriage, man. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Man. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right, Casey. All right. All right, praise him. Love to see brothers, love to see brothers and sisters that 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 are at least you know starting a journey on this path, man. All praises to that. All right, so uh, I wanted to get into the lesson about a um, little bit about how how we, we uh, us as a people we have learned to uh, be complacent and and enjoy the chaos that 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 is that surrounds us and that we are can that we are uh, privy to, right? So did you, did you get that? This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Right, so when, so when Yahweh shot, who the world ignorantly calls Christ, right? When he, came in, when he came into the world, 
right? When he was born, it was a sign that light was returning to, back to the world, right? That this wisdom and understanding that we have was coming back, right? But nobody acknowledges it because we love this darkness, right? We love this chaos that we bring, right? Everybody wants to be, everybody wants to be a thug, everybody wants to be a gangster, right? But then at the same time, everybody's wondering why, why, why they're, uh, why there's such turmoil in their life, right? Why, why, why are the cops always harassing, right? Not to, it, it, it's not just, it's not only due to the fact that we're blacks and Latinos, it also has to do with the lifestyle that you lead, right? right? A lot of that has to do with the lifestyle that you lead, right? You draw attention to yourself, right? It's all this chaos that you bring. Book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Right? So the Most High is not the author of confusion, right? What he told us to do will bring peace to your life, right? And you know, when, when, and when, you know, when, there, when you don't have chaos in your life, you have peace. Right? And by getting that peace, you have to follow the law, statutes, and commandments that was given to us, right? right? That's how you get peace in your life, right? You stop selling, because, you know, you stop selling drugs. You stop pimping out our system, right? You start making, you stop making a, a holes of our system, right? That's how you stop the chaos that is in your life, right? You, our sisters have to stop worrying about just only getting paid, about the man that, that all, all he has is money. Right? That's how we gotta stop this, we gotta stop the chaos in our life. Right? We gotta get back to following these laws. Right? He gave us these things for a reason. Right? That's to give us peace, give us rest, right? To prevent the chaos that we go through. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 10 through 12. How happeneth it, Israel? that thou art in thine enemy's land. Right, he's, he's asking, man, how do we get in our enemy's land, right? You know, when you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you hear like the natives and you hear the Latinos, right, they talk about um, how this is their land, but it was stolen, right? But how did that happen? What's going on, sister, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Okay, that is good. That is good, he absolutely is, right? Do you believe in the Bible? Yes. Yeah. Do, uh, do, uh, uh, do you know your nationality according to it? Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, I do. Yeah, I do remember you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. All praises, all praises. So do you? So I see you up here again. Do you have any questions for us this today? Those last week I did, but I didn't really know how to. Uh huh. Well, you can take it off. I had surgery in my body. Yeah. I had. I had a stroke in like three, four years. Then when I got out of the hospital, they had to move me to the center line. And I cried. Right. I said, why did they move me to the devil's room? I saw that place the devil's room. Right. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a local. Yeah. Why. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's not crazy. Right. Right, right, right. 
you know, couldn't go outside, couldn't sleep, all the noise and stuff. It was yeah, a riot took for me to go to jail. The judge told them they better move me. I ended up on a high blood pressure field, a stress field. And I can't take you that. And in the all, on all that, when I moved in, when in my late, in my sixth, you know? Yeah, I want to read you something real quick. Check this out. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right, so you're going to be going through a lot of tribulations, right? As you, as you just did, right? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye, ye may be tried, and ye shall, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right. So the devil put you in that prison, yeah. right? The yeah. devil sent you to jail. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Feel a lot safer there. Oh, praise it. Yeah, so you can yeah, so you can come out here, you can make it make it uh, uh come here, you make it back home safely. Right? You don't have to worry too much about the 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 the, the. That's right. you over there in the tenderloin testing your faith, right? Yeah. 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 And like and like Job, and like Job, you stay yeah. faithful, right, sister? I mean, I have big tears. That's right. Big tears. Yeah. Now I'm happy. And now I'm getting to my brain. <laughs> you know, you, do eat. you know, you remind me a lot of the story of Job. Yeah. Went through all that, he went through all that nonsense. Yeah. Just to get just to get blessed in the end. Right? You don't have friends there, but it's a I told them I don't work here. They're going to let me out of here. And they did. Yeah. Well, they took the meeting over the field, but the judge told them to move. Uh-huh. See, he tested your faith over yeah. there. And since you were so strong, the devil had to put you in jail. Right. Right? And you stayed faithful, right? And I'm right. All yeah. praises. You got So, so, uh, so now that you, so now that you're dwelling safely, right? Now that you're feeling comfortable, yeah. and you out, of, and you're, and you're out of that pit. I wanted to read you this, just to give you a little bit of, a little bit of uh, advice on how to, how to operate now. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verse 18, in the Good News translation. Obey all the Lord's laws and commands, so that you may live in safety in the land. Right. So now, so now that you're out of that. Right? You have to it, it start obeying the laws that God gave to us, right? Right? Obey the laws that God gave to us through Moses, right? Because everything, because every, I, I was just going, I was just about to go into it. Everything that, that, uh, the, everything that the Most High prescribed for us was to help us stay peaceful, to live a peaceful life. Because there's nothing but chaos over there, right? Nothing but chaos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I get up, I'm in your friend's up, they can't shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if you want to stay out of that yeah. chaos, you have to, we got to follow these laws. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we got to, we got to follow these, we got to follow these laws. All right, because that's the only way we're going to stay out of the chaos. Right? Only way we're going to stay out of the chaos. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because you know we just we just we just I just I just had my brother read for me about how uh about how uh with, with Christ being the living word of God, he's the light that's coming into the world, but everybody stays away from him because they love darkness. They love the chaos. 
See with the chaos, yeah, exactly. Yeah. To see that darkness that we live in. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So now, yeah. yeah so now, yeah. so again, you know, the, the whole, the whole purpose of it to stay out of there, yeah. to stay in the light. Yeah. You have to follow and, the law. And, and the no followers. Huh? Yeah. So, yeah. since, since, uh, do you know, do you know where to find the laws that mo that the Most High gave to us? You know, the laws in. Here, hold on. Let me get. This. Book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord is coming, so cometh as a thief, as a thief in the night. Right, so when the, the, when, the, when the Lord returns to this earth, it's going to come quick. It's going to happen out of nowhere, right? So we got to be ready for it, right? For when they shall say peace and safety, then, then sudden destruction comes upon them. Right, because it's peace and safety, right? Everybody loves that chaos over there, right? Yeah. They act like nothing's going to happen, right? But we know better, right? They act like nothing's going to happen, right? As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right, sister, do you have any children? I have five, two girls, two so you know about the you know about labor pain, right? You know about labor pain. They're saying they're saying what's go, what, what's going to happen to these people who stay in that who stay in that chaos is going to be the equivalent to labor pain, right? But yea, brethren, are not in darkness that the day should overtake you as a thief. Right. So when you're out of that darkness, you get to see it coming, right? So you 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 get out of that dark because you're out of the darkness. You see clearly. Right, so that you can see. I mean, you won't necessarily see it coming, but you'll be ready for it. Right, because those people who are out there in darkness, who are doing those drugs, who are out there out of their mind, right, who are out there day drinking, they won't see it coming. They won't even have any idea that it's coming. By the time it happens, it's going to be too late for them. Right, they probably won't notice until after it happens. Uh huh. Yeah, one more, sister. Hold on. They are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right? So we are the children of light. Right? Because we follow the law. Right? We follow what Moses told what Moses told us to do. Right? God said God told Moses to tell us what to do. Right? And that's why that's why that's that's what that's what gives us the light. That's how we stay in the light. That's how we avoid the darkness, avoid the chaos, right? And you see, and you see it, what, what, what us as black, Latinos, and Native Americans are going through, right? Because we are, we are out of, the, we are in the darkness, we are out of the light, we are not following the law, statutes, and the right? You know, I, I heard it, I heard it, uh, I heard a great metaphor about, it. you know, uh, uh, the leader of our organization, you know, uh, Chief Priest Allen, right? He talks about he talks about the uh the uh the, the Jewish people, right? How they follow they follow some of what's in the in in the law, yeah. right? And they become one of the most powerful people on the planet, right? So essentially, essentially the way I like to put it is, um, you ever have roller skates growing up? Yeah, you have roller skates growing up, right? So so what the most high what God gave to us was a custom pair of roller skates, right? It's it's perfect for us. Right, you see other people, they'll roll around with the roller skates. Yeah. They can work it, you know, they can yeah. do all types of tricks yeah. with it. But if they're doing it, but that, those roller skates wasn't made for them. It was made for us. Yeah. So if they can do all this magic with the, with yeah. the roller skates that are made for us, what do you think we can do with those roller skates? Yeah. Hey, yeah, exactly. Exactly. We can, yeah, we can yeah. do all types of stuff yeah. with those yeah. roller skates, right? Yeah. That's, 
and the, those, and that, those, this is what the law is. It's, it's, it's our custom pair of roller sticks, right? right. Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Right, so the commandment is a lamp, right? Because they're walking out in darkness, right? All that chaos, right? But if you want to make it through the, if you want to make it through all this chaos, you need these laws. It'll help guide you. You can see everything, right? Because you know when you're in a cave, you're in a cave, you can't see anything, no light. You're walking around blind, you don't know what to do. But you got these laws. Lights up, you see everything, right? You can see everything, right? That's the that's that's the whole point of it. It's to get us out this chaos, right? It's to get us out this chaos. Yeah, you gotta stay out that darkness, right? You stay out that darkness, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Uh huh. And, but it, but it, metaphorically, that darkness that we're talking about, right, will be illuminated. It's only illuminated by keeping the law. Right? It's only illuminated by keeping the law. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to light, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Yeah, so this is, again, you know, those roller skates. That's what he's talking about. Those roller skates. It's for us. Right? Don't let no, you know how your mom, you know how your mom or your dad, your parents said, don't let nobody ride your bike? Yeah. You go out and say, don't let nobody ride your, that's your bike, don't let nobody ride it. Yeah. Right? It said, don't give, don't give our roller skates to the strange people. Yeah. Don't let nobody use this. Yeah. It's for us. Yeah. Right? Most High gave us these custom pair of roller skates, right? Yeah. Right? You see, you see how you, how they get crazy on the cartoons, they put the rocket, put the rockets on it and everything, right? Yeah. He gave us these custom pair of roller skates, yeah. right? We know how to turn those rockets on. We don't even have to push the button. Hey, we go faster, right? Yeah. Those are for us. All these laws right here, they're for us. To make us better. To keep us out of darkness. Right? These other nations, the people, they, 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 it's not a problem. They can be in the dark. If they want to come into the light, it's not a problem. But those, th these laws, these roller skates, they're for us. Exclusively for us. Right? So we, so the more, the more we, the more we apply these laws, right? The more we use our roller skates, the better, right? That's what we out here. That's what we want you to do. We want you to apply these laws, sisters. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Okay. Appreciate I'm your time. I'm gonna see you next week. I gotta get back on the bus. Go back to All right, sister, you be safe. Okay. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. You too. Okay, thank you.